Hi, for this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the inverse of a linear function. So in order to find the inverse, the steps that we wanna do is the first step that we are going to do is we are going to um, rewrite f of x as y. Because remember that f of x is just another way of writing y equals something. And for ease of solving this, we're gonna rewrite it as y equals negative one half x minus three halves. If you recall, y equals mx plus b is the same thing as f of x equals mx plus b. So that's all we've done here. Step two is to switch the location of x and y. So we wanna actually switch where x and y are. So, because remember an inverse function, what it does is it switches the coordinates of x and y. So we're gonna actually physically switch x and y. And now our next step is going to be to solve for y. So we wanna get this y by itself. So in order to do this, what I am going to do is in order to get rid of fractions, I'm gonna multiply this entire equation by negative two. By doing that, it gets rid of all of my fractions and it also gets rid of the negative in front of the y, so y would be by itself. So if I multiply everything by negative two, I get negative two x equals y, and this becomes a positive three because these twos right here cancel out with the two and the negatives both become positive because I'm doing a negative times a negative. Now we simply have to just get y by itself. So in order to get y by itself, we're gonna bring the three to the other side. So I would have negative two x minus three equals y. And then step four is just to take and rewrite y back in function notation, but because we found the inverse, we're going to write it in inverse notation. So we're gonna say that the inverse of f of x is equal to negative two x minus three. And remember that f to the negative one of x um, really just means inverse notation. Um, and so anytime you see f to the negative one, that tells you that your x and your y coordinates were switched from the original function to solve for the um, ending function. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.